张三百多。I predicted it was gonna take 10 to 11 hours and I was exactly right. Then at this station I was told by the office guy, you know, the one who sold me the ticket, he said it's gonna take seven hours. Well, I doubt that. <laughs> Welcome to Laos. Well, good morning everyone. I'm still in Vientiane, so I'm thinking of going to Pong Sawan where the plane of jar is in Sien Kuang province. And now I'm still in the, the, the center, so I'm still waiting for the bus that pass through here to the northern bus station where I can take the bus from there to Pon Sawan. And I'm right here in front of this Lao National Cultural Hall. And I really hope that the bus comes. You know? I mean, I would be very disappointing if it doesn't show up. This is obviously the bus stop and it should pass through this area, right? I don't know, I mean, it's been ages since I, I came here. Anyhow, well, I'm very spontaneous. I mean, the, the first bus that leave to Ponsawan was at 8 o'clock, and now it's 9 o'clock, so <laughs> I hope they have the second bus or the third bus, otherwise I'll be, I'll end up staying uh, in Vientiane again, which I don't want to. So after 20 minutes, we finally made it to the northern bus station. The thing is that I don't have any more cash and still we will have to get the money from the ATM here. Oh no. Oh no. It's in an offline mode. Seriously? Okay, let me ask if I can pay by money transfer. I'm looking for Pansuan, yeah. Oh, Jang Mong. Sibet Mong, go by. Uh, Tarago. Sibet Tipat. Jai Tang BC, Okay. Okay, well. I just got my ticket and it cost me 180,000 kip from Vientiane to Ponsawan or Sien Kuang. And the bus is gonna leave at 11 o'clock and I was able to pay online. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take from here to Ponsawan and Ponsawan to Samnua. And I may visit Mueang Vieng Sai, which is half an hour from Samnua. I may rent a motorbike and take it from there because it's a beautiful town. Samnu and Mueang Vieng Sai, these are very historical towns. If you're into his history and stuff like that, do consider checking these two places out because you'll get to learn a lot about what happened during Vietnam War because a lot has happened in these two places. And then I'm gonna take from Samnu to Nong Kiao, and then I'm gonna take from Nong Kiao to visit my mom, and then back to Long Province. So you can do the loop, actually. What you can do is you can stop in Vang Vieng first. So you can do from Vieng Chien, Vang Vieng, Hong Suan, Sam Nua, and Mueang Vieng Sai, and then back to Sam Nua, and then from Sam Nua to Nong Kiao, Nong Kiao to Luang Prabang. So you can do this whole loop if you have time. And I think that's probably the best way to explore Lao. I mean, like, like I said again, Sam Nua and Mueang Vieng Sai, these are untouched by the tourists yet. So it's more authentic. You will see more, you know, locals and what's life out there, you know. I, I, would, I, I would love to see that. I mean, I've seen it like a long time ago, but anyway. Stay tuned. This is the only northern bus station in Vientiane. So if you're going to the north, like Rome Prabang, Bang Vieng, Bokea, Ponsali, Pontawan, and other provinces in the north, it's all leave from here. You won't get lost. It's pretty easy. But from Vientiane city center to the northern bus station is pretty a long way. I mean, I paid 
50,000 kip for a taxi, he asked for 80,000 and then I'm like, hmm, I've done that before, it was only 50,000 and he's like, okay, well, go ahead. Usually, the cheapest way is you can take from city center to the morning market bus terminal and take the electric green bus from there to here and it costs only 10,000 kip. Oh yeah, yeah. So if I were to go to visit my mom, I take this one. Unbelievable. So I would get off here. This is my mom's village. And that would take 11 hours sleeping bus. And this is mine that is leaving for Sing Kwan in an hour, I think. Yeah, Nong Hat, Sing Kwan. It looks comfortable. All right, well, since I still have time, I think I'm gonna treat myself uh, some breakfast here. I'll see what they got. Vietnamese pho. How pho Viet Hai Da? Pho. I miss Vietnam a lot. It's kind of medium buzz and it's not very busy. It's almost three, four passengers in here, including myself. So. And then somebody's loading the motorbike up there. <laughs> well, let's hope that it's on time. So it's almost 11 o'clock and I really hope that after the loading the motorbike on the roof, it should be departing. So see you in Sing Kwang. I was there. I can't even remember how long was it. It was, it was in 2018, I think. Yeah, it was that long, so yeah, it's good to s it'll be good to see it again. Anyway, see you there. It's actually on time. Very punctual. It's 11 o'clock and the bus is moving. Yay! You don't get this often in Laos, you know, <laughs> but hey, it happens. <laughs> good, I'm happy. Been more than an hour and we're still in Vientiane. We haven't got out of the suburb yet. That's what I said, you know, always expect the unexpected when you travel in Laos. So please don't expect the punctual or that the bus will be on time. So forget about it.
Oh. This might take a while, so I may just go for a walk and take a piss. Okay. All right. Eventually, the bus <laughs> moved again, and it stopped again. <laughs> So the driver is talking to the person who, the owner of the chicken. So this guy is sending these four chicken big baskets to Siencon province. And they're negotiating the price and he said he can't guarantee if this chicken will be alive until we get there. I, I feel bad for the chicken. Look at those chickens, they're sticking their heads out. So Fram is gonna take many hours from here to get there. It's gonna be cold and hot at the same time. Sorry, sweeties. Just hang in there. Okay, so this is the break for the bathroom and also a place where passengers buy some gifts for their friends and family back home. Look at this one. These are the buffalo skin. As you can see, the hair. They have to grill it, like burn it to be able to eat it. Sausage. Mm. These are all homemade. So I got the mango, green mango for vitamin C. I mean, I'm not going to see my mom, so that's why I didn't get anything. I'm probably gonna get something for her from Samna because I'm taking from there to Nokia and then from there to my mom's place. <laughs> it reminds me of my adventure, you know, taking the train from Bangkok to Nong Kai. This is what I got last time. It's the same, very similar. Wow, very crispy.
okay well it is a little bit frustrating as the driver just told me it's gonna take another four hours to get there so we're only halfway so I was right so I, I predicted it was gonna take 10 to 11 hours and I was exactly right then at this station I was told by the office guy you know the one who sold me the ticket he said it's gonna take seven hours well I doubt that <laughs> Welcome to Laos. Everyone is getting in a queue, getting the noodle for dinner. It's some six o'clock now. Not sure if I'm gonna have it. Ah, oh, so cold. As we're getting higher up, so it's getting colder and colder, and you can imagine at midnight gotta be so cold up there because in this region in Samnia or Ponsuan because the elevation is quite high up so it's quite windy and always cold up there so yeah I'm shy all right this is what I got no noodle for tonight just rice with some wakey chicken and a little bit of cauliflower I think Pasta fry and soup. So this is my early dinner at six fifteen. That's when I usually eat when I when I'm at, I'm at home. So yeah, mm. it's really good. A lot of MSG, they put a lot of MSG. So from my standard, this is not very spicy at all, so I'm gonna eat it with chili like this. The red one? This is how a lot of people eat chili. Okay, the one chicken is escaping from the basket. I think he's tired of staying inside. Good for you. Fly away, baby. Oh no, he's got him. Okay. Wow. Bye. Oh my god, I made it and it's 10 p.m. now. <laughs> well, Welcome to Ponsuan guys. It's pretty cold right now. And it's so quiet. Okay, this is the guest house. Let me go ask. Okay, please ring the bell. Okay. Oh. Hello. 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 Ah, it's quite a large bed and that's me tired I'm so glad I made it <laughs> well adventure 
Every journey has its own story to tell. That's what I like about traveling. It's a long way, but hey, I made it. I've got two bottles of water here. And this is a little small closet. A TV. Let's look at the back room. Look, it's quite big. Mm. And it's so cheap, like a hundred thousand kip. I mean, it's not even um, it's not even ten dollars. So affordable. Look at the bed, so cozy, and it's so cold up here, so it's perfect to sleep with nice thick blanket. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. A little bit lonely with this big bed. I wish I had somebody with me here. Anyway. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then I'm gonna go to bed. Mm -hmm.